Now, last fall, uh, what I ended up doing was uh, putting together some videos regarding pomegranates and how I, how I enjoy pomegranates. And it's one of the fruits that I eat a lot of during the fall. And I love uh, fruits and vegetables that we get during the fall. They're amazing. I find them to be super powerful. And um, there's another fruit that I just came across that is on the same level as pomegranates for me. And it's, uh, it's just two years ago that I came across this thing. We were walking around the neighborhood and um, we hit up on this tree, which this small branches with lots of red little berries on it. And we found out that this stuff was called autumn olive and we had a little taste and it's super tart, uh, very tangy. And we loved it. So we picked a whole bunch of the, a bunch of the branches. Uh, actually, it was on someone's property. So we went and knocked on the door and we asked them if it was okay for us to harvest some of their fruit. And they said, yeah, for sure, by all means. Um, because it gave, I mean, super abundant and they had already taken their harvest. Uh, so we helped ourselves. We got a couple of bags and, um, you know, we munched on as many of them as we could. And um, we ended up making jam as well. And the jam is absolutely delicious. So good, so good. Um, so what we did uh, is basically have went back last year as well and picked some autumn olives and we went back this year as well and again we knocked on the door and we asked them if it was okay to harvest some of their fruit and uh, they said yeah for sure by all means. Uh, so we ended up uh, picking some of this fruit and I want to show you what we got, uh, just the harvest that we got. Um, now we ended up um, picking twice as much as this because you know we picked and we split we shared right and uh, this is the drawer uh from from our fridge and this is how much we got in basically one picking and it's an amazing little fruit um it's super powerful so um, like tons of vitamin c and a bunch of other things and it comes on a whole bunch of branches and you know basically grows like this with um with the fruit just hanging on the branches and it gets heavy and the and the branches come down and um, you know and there's tons of it there's so much still left on the tree uh unfortunately we didn't get a chance to pick it uh, there's only so much we could do right and there's so much of it on the tree and it's uh it's amazing it's amazing what uh, how much stuff you can get off this thing and I'm not sure if you can see this on the berries there's like little white speckles um, which gives it a very unique texture uh, let me bring a couple more of these closer to you maybe I'll if you take a look right it's an amazing little fruit uh, and it's super tangy and uh, we basically ended up you know it took us about an hour to pick uh, you know twice this and um, what I've been doing is basically every time I wanted a snack I just come to the fridge and whenever I feel like a snack I just you know pull open the drawer and I take a branch like this and I just munch on the munch on the berries I just pick the berries out with my teeth I do sometimes use my fingers and you know just take the berries off like this and it comes off pretty easy it's getting riper right now because it's it's been a few days since we picked it and the stuff just comes out and you know I scoop it up and munch on it like that or when I don't feel like getting my hands all sticky because you do get a little sticky right um, I just basically take the they're sort of in bunches right so I just scoop up one of the bunches of my my mouth and I just uh, take apart the uh, the seeds just pull them off and they come off really easy right. just one pull usually does the job And it's super delicious, very tangy. It's good to, uh, when you're eating these like this, it's good to have some water around because it's, um, your mouth does tend to, I mean, I haven't eaten enough for it to dry out yet, but 
in my mouth anyway it tends to dry out a little bit So when I usually get something like this, you know, I don't eat the whole thing. Just for a snack anyway, I tend to break it. Right. And take half the thing and just munch on that. And since this thing, um, it's been, uh, um, it's been a few days since we picked it and it was getting towards the end of the season there are some on here which are a little too ripe and because it's it's moist there is a little bit of mold unfortunately growing in some of these so what we end up doing is just throwing those suckers away and all that means is well not the mold but when it gets over ripe it's just getting a uh, just alcohol content is going up as it's fermenting so it's not really it's not really bad for you as far as I know anyway uh, and it gives it a little pungent taste I guess but and I just take these off Some of the stuff um, when it's uh, when it's super ripe where it's nice and ripe it's juicy so it actually takes the tanginess away when it's um, when it's gone, it becomes super ripe anyway and there's still some green pieces on here um, if you can see there's some still some green berries on there and they're like super tangy super tart right 